Hi everyone, Brian here with Water Control Corporation. From time to time, customers will contact Water Control with complaints of water that is reddish brown, has a slimy sort of jelly-like feeling to it, and has a foul odor and taste. In nearly 100% of cases, these customers are utilizing private wells for their water supply. And in most cases, the explanation is what we commonly refer to as iron bacteria. In reality, iron bacteria are a couple of bacteria strains called Gallianella and Carnothorix. They are quite common in private wells. They do not actually eat iron. Rather, they're able to use some of the energy released when ferrous iron oxidizes into ferric iron or rust. They use this energy to convert carbon dioxide into a food source, which allows them to flourish. An iron filter in a home or a facility is very useful in removing the energy source for the bacteria. However, it is not a silver bullet for eliminating this problem by itself. To fully take care of it, one needs to kill or remove the bacteria. Now, options include periodic shocking of the well and the piping system using high levels of sodium hypochlorite or bleach. Another option is a chlorine pellet feeder that literally feeds chlorine pellets into the well housing on a timed basis. A powerful new option involves the use of ultrafiltration equipment downstream of the iron filter. Ultrafilters use hollow fiber membrane straws to physically remove 99.999% or more of the bacteria. Water is channeled through these tiny straws as it enters the filter unit. This water quickly escapes through tiny micropores all along the lateral surface of the straws, while microorganisms and other particulates remain entrapped and unable to escape. Once or twice per day, these nuisance organisms and particulates are flushed down the drain during a short flush cycle. When using ultrafiltration on well water, it's important to limit the flow rates in order to extend the membrane life. Now, any loss of flow can be easily compensated for by using a slightly larger pump tank. If you think that you may have an iron bacteria problem, the first step is to send water control a raw water sample. We use special test vials to actually grow the bacteria and verify its presence in your system. And then we can help you to identify solutions, uh, including giving you tips for shocking a well, options for chlorine feeders, ultrafiltration units, and of course, iron removal equipment. To get started, please contact Water Control Corporation.